Okay, so welcome back to the third part of the login process of our uh, login and register system. Um, here we're going to pass through the username and password and, and actually start to log the user in. So let's go ahead and do this. So we've got this else block here that we had. If all of these have failed, we come to this last else block. And what we do is we're going to set a variable login equal to the result of a login function. And the login function is going to pass username and it's also going to pass password. Now, if this um, if this username and password combination work, we're going to return true, i.e. the user is uh, successfully has successfully logged in uh, or provided the correct information. Um, if they if this returns false, we have an error. So we can build this, uh, start to build this up before we even know, uh, sorry, before we've even created this login function. So I'm going to say if login is equal to false, then append something else to this errors array. So uh, let's say that username password is incorrect, or this username password combination is incorrect, because we know we've already checked if the username exists. Now, otherwise, we want to set the set the user session, and then we want to redirect the user. Oops, just comment again. Redirect user to home. So um, we need to create this login function now, uh, and that's going to deal with actually um, checking these login credentials or credentials. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, and create this function. Um, so uh, over to our users.php uh, file. Uh, let's go ahead and create this down here. I'm going to say function login. Remember we called it login. And here, remember we pass a username and we pass a password. And we want to sanitize. Um, we want to sanitize both of these fields. Uh, in fact, we want to sanitize the username field and we want to encrypt the password field. Now remember we are storing um, our password in here as an MD5 hash so we need to encrypt the password that the user provides in order to match it to the already encrypted password. So um, uh, I didn't actually mention, well I did mention but I, I mismentioned the fact that if this login is successful we're actually going to go ahead and pass a user ID back instead of true. We're going to pass false if the login has failed, and we're going to pass the user's ID if the login is true. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be storing the user ID here uh, in a session uh, if if this password and username combination is is successful. So we'll be storing that in a session. So we need to create a function that gets the user uh, ID from the username. So um, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we'll create a function called um, user ID from username and using uh, passing through a username we need to sanitize this so username equals sanitize username and then we need to return the user ID so we can just say return mysql result and we want to pass a query here row 0 i.e. the first row and then we want to uh, get the data, so user ID. There we go. So it's not as simple as that. We need to pass through a query, which will just be MySQL query. Select, remember backticks, user ID from, and which table, users, where username is equal to, in single quotes, username okay so we're selecting the user ID which we're picking up here and returning from the users table where the username is equal to the username we provided so now we can use this function within our login function so I'm gonna say user ID is equal to user ID from username and then pass in the username okay so in actual fact now um, uh, we we've we need to think about this in terms of uh, where we're sanitizing data. I'm passing through an unsanitized username here, which is being sanitized within this uh, function. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the username and I'm going to sanitize that again. Okay, because I don't need to sanitize it twice when I pass it through. So sanitize uh, username. 
and I'm also going to reset the password because I need to encrypt it to um, an MD5 hash. So password. Okay, so I've sanitized my username and I've converted my password. Fine. Now we need to actually return um, whether this uh, whether this password username and password combination have worked. So we're going to do exactly the same as the thing we did up here, and we're going to return a result based on uh, the query. So return. Um, MySQL. Oh, sorry. No, we don't want to do that. We want to do a ternary operator, and we want to return the user ID or false. So within here, if this is equal to, or if this condition is true or, or is truthy, then we want to return the user's ID. Otherwise, we want to return false. So um, within here, what we what do we want to do? Well, we want to uh, check that a MySQL result of account is equal to one. So uh, quite, you know, uh, hard to explain, but let's go ahead and just do this. So if the MySQL result is equal to one, and the MySQL result will be the count of us checking the username and the password together. So here is our query. This will be our row, and that's it. We just need to go ahead and write the query. So MySQL query. Now this is select, uh, again, count user ID oops from users in small or lowercase and this is where now this is where it gets sort of gets interesting so select the count from user users where username is equal to username and now we'll just come over a bit and password is equal to password so essentially what's happening here is this username and this password need to match. If they do match and, and a record with Alex and, a, and the correct password is found, this, queer, this result here will return 1. So therefore if it's equal to 1, we return the user ID, i.e. the user has successfully validated their credentials, otherwise we return false. So now we've created our login function. Let's go ahead and test it out. So. Um, login equals login username and password we're passing that through if it's equal to false then we do something otherwise i'm just going to literally just echo okay just so we know so let's go ahead and remember the password that i encrypted in the first part of the tutorial or the, yeah the first part of the tutorial um where we actually did something with a database we uh, this this value basically represents the string password okay so my password is password so if i type in alex and a load of rubbish and I click login, uh, nothing's happened. So let's check out what that might be. Okay, so I'm going to go back to init.php and I'm just going to comment this error reporting out so we can get some errors output here. In fact, we'll leave that on while we develop anyway. So uh, for, uh, call to undefined function user ID from username. I appear to have spelt username incorrectly. So let's go over to our users.php and there we go. Brilliant. So let's uh, go ahead and refresh that and resubmit the data. Okay, so we're now getting the error that username password combination is incorrect, which is good because I did type in the wrong password. So again, I'll type in the wrong password, we get that error. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in password, the, the text password, uh, and click login. And you'll see it just says OK. So I've, I've supplied this form with the correct username and the correct password, and it's validated, and we are able to log in. We haven't actually logged in yet, but we are going to set the user session and re re redirect the user back home. So I'll go ahead and get with this OK exclamation. And if we have logged in correctly, we want to, in fact, we'll leave that to just a moment. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to print these errors out properly. We're going to, um, in fact, no, let's go ahead and, and set the user session. It's a lot more interesting. So um, we've already set the uh, or started the session up the top here. So we can use sessions within within any uh, page that we've included in it. And in here we have. So uh, we want to go ahead and uh, and uh, set this user session. So the user session that we're going to call, uh, well, we're going to call the user session user ID. So I'm going to say user uh, oh, sorry, session user ID, and this is going to be equal to login. Now, why is it equal to login? Well, it's equal to login because um, 
login returns the um, user ID. So now we have logged in successfully, returned the user ID, which in my case is one. So if we do here die login, you'll see that when we refresh, it returns one because I've logged in with the user one. So we store that in the session, which we're doing here, and then we redirect the user to wherever and then we can uh, exit the script underneath. Not required, but it's just a habit. So we're going to redirect the user back to index.php. So we're done. Uh, if we are logged in, uh, or if we provide the right details, um, and then we log in successfully, we set a session, and that session holds our user ID, which uniquely identifies us while we're browsing the website. Then we redirect ourselves back to index.php. Okay, so now we need to look at actually testing whether this works, and then we'll, we'll, we'll look in, a, in another part, uh, the next part of the tutorial, about clearing up these errors and, and things like that, um, or outputting them correctly onto the page. Um, so, uh, uh, how do we test if we, we are successfully logged in or not? Well, let's go over to um, uh, index.php. And let's just uh, create a bit of logic down here to check whether this session has been set. And we'll be creating a logged in function in just a moment and you'll see how much easier it is. Let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to say if is set dollar underscore session user ID echo logged in else so if the user is not logged in not logged in okay so this is just going to appear on the index page so let's go back uh, you'll see at the moment it says not logged in because the session's not set i.e we haven't registered uh, sorry we haven't successfully logged in um, if i go ahead and say alex and a load of rubbish and click enter that username password combination is incorrect and by the way if you haven't if you've already wondered this lot here will be output a lot nicely uh, at some point um, and we will include the overall template as well so it will all be included within our nice design so if I now enter password as in my actual password and click log in you'll now see that we've been transferred back to index.php and it now says logged in so now whatever we do on this page whether, whether we ref refresh or navigate away and then back again we are still logged in because the session is set. However, we don't want to be writing this code out here every time we want to check if a user's logged in or not. We want to create a handy function that allows us to, you know, visually see is the user logged in. So let's go ahead and create the function uh, that does that. Uh, we'll get rid of this code here. So in users.php, let's go ahead and write this at the top. So function logged in. Uh, and essentially this is just going to return true or false whether or not the user is logged in so I'm going to say uh, return either true or false and the condition within here is is set dollar underscore session user ID okay so now what we can do is on any page we can say if the, if the user is logged in um, you know do something otherwise do something else so uh, the perfect example would be in our aside where we inc we're, we're including logging login at the moment but we want to include the login form only if the user is not logged in so i'm going to say if something else do this um, and this is is if logged in is equal to true echo logged in so um, when I now go ahead and refresh, you see that the sidebar has changed. We no longer have this login form, um, but obviously we want to test this the other way around. We want to test whether, well, what's going to happen when the user's logged out. So we need to quickly create a logout script. And you know this isn't part of the login, but it does tie in. It's very very straightforward. So we create a new file, and I'm going to call this logout. I'm going to save it in our root directory. Uh, and I'm going to start the session. So before we terminate a session, we need to actually start the session. And by the way, we're just going to be redirecting our users, users to this logout.php file to log them out. So session start, and then we say session 
destroy and it's that simple uh, and then we just redirect our user so we can redirect them to index.php so um, to log our user out we well we're logged in at the moment we go or we forward them and we'll create all the links and the visuals later logout.php that redirects us back or it terminates the session redirects us back and here we see our, our code again because the if statement has uh, decided that well has seen that the uh, the session hasn't been set and therefore it wants to go ahead and display this here uh, so yeah that's basically it for um, logging the user in there's a lot more to do here and there's a lot more to tidy up uh, obviously we've done you know quite a lot in this in this kind of thing uh, the next thing really is to uh, output these errors uh, and I think actually what we'll quickly do is we'll go ahead and we'll include the header files so remember the header files are included within uh, includes uh, overall and then whatever it is so includes overall header.php and then down here we can go ahead and include overall forward slash uh, sorry includes overall footer.php and then again when we refresh if I type in some gobbledygook wrong we get all these errors uh, appear here uh, obviously they're still in sort of a visual representation of an array which we don't want we want to nicely output them to the user and give them a nice uh, friendly header to warn them that their uh, login has been unsuccessful so we'll be doing that in the uh, in the next part and sorting out these errors here but for now that's how we've logged in a user and the very basics of doing so